Welcome back to Oracle Unified Directory. My name is Atul Kumar. So in this, we are going to look at password policy and its component that is password generator and password validator. So we'll start with password policy overview. What exactly password policy means? What are the various component inside that password policy? Then we'll look at first component of password policy that is password validators. Then we'll look at password generators. After that, actual password policy, what does password policy contains? How do you create it? How do you use password validator and generator? Then we are going to look at password policy subentry, which is a something similar to password policy, but created inside a different container. So we'll look at also compare the difference between password policy, which is at a directory server configuration level, and also at password policy subentry, which is at a realm or at a user or group level, which is subentry. So let's first look at what exactly password policy means. I hope by now you have understood or you know what a password is. When you log into a system, you use a user ID and you create a password for that particular user so that to identify the user's identity. So password policy is nothing but a set of rules that dictates the complexity of the password when what I mean by complexity me of the password is how many characters you need to be having in that password. How many alpha numeric is there any uppercase lowercase? It does need to be a specific dictionary may or may not have the dictionary word and so on. The password policy also contains password history, which means how many times you can reuse the password or how many times you can't use the same password. Then it also has storage scheme in which what encryption method we use to store this password in OUD. It will can also have maximum and minimum age, which means you can't set it at least to this minimum age, which means you have to have this password for at least one day or 24 hours, or maybe the maximum age. That means you have to change this password after 30 days or 90 days or 60 days. It can also have password lock, which means after how many failed attempt user to lock the password or rules like who can edit the password can is user allowed to change their own password or a delegated admin is allowed to change the password or not and so on. So all these set of rules together or you may have some policies, you may not have some policies, but all these together will make a password policy. So OUD support multiple password policy, which means you can have more than one password policy active at any given point in time. However, for a specific user or if for a specific entity, one password policy will be applicable. So you can have multiple, you can have three, four or five, but only one will be active for that specific user. You can have all five active, but for a specific user, only one will be applicable. So there's a difference between having a password policy or having a password or password policy applicable to that user. Now you can manage password policy in, in OUD using either ODSM, Oracle Directory Service Manager, and that we covered in one of the previous modules. So if you've not gone through the ODSM console, and if you've not gone install and configure, go back and look at Oracle Directory Service Manager, which is a graphical user interface to manage password policy. Then you have another command line utility, which is dsconfig. We also looked at dsconfig in our previous modules related to configuration of Oracle Unified Directory instance. So you can use that dsconfig command to manage the password policy. Then by default, when you get OUD installed, you get two set of password policies or two set of default password policy. And in our users and groups module in one of the previous module, we looked at two different type of users, normal users and administrative or root user. So normal user or administrative user, they will have their own set of default password policy. So when a user is created accordingly, the default password policy will take into effect. So by default, you get those default password policy when you configure OUD instance. Now password policy can contain password generator or password validator. I'll explain you both in the subsequent lessons on what exactly is password generator or what exactly is password validator. So this is how the password policy look like. So you go to, you log into ODSM console, you look at the security tab, and on the left hand side, you need to expand this password policy menu, click on the password policy menu from the left column. 
when you click you will see some set of password policies the default is default password policy root password policy and global administrator password policy these are the three policies that come out of the box and i was talking earlier that the default password policy for normal users this is root password policy which is for root or administrative users and this is how the password policy will look like on the right hand side you can have allow user password changes which means users allowed to change the passwords the password storage scheme which means it's salted has a j512 which means the encryption method used to store the password in OUD will be salted SHA-512 encryption. The attribute in which you're going to store the password is attribute name is user password. So when you get the user ID and password submitted to OUD, OUD will validate or compare username with or user ID with user ID attribute defined in OUD. And the password value that receives from authentication request will be validated against this user password attribute and then it can have other properties which I was talking earlier. Then this password policy can have something called as password validator and password storage. So password storage we saw earlier that this is the password storage scheme. So we'll look at password generator and password validator. So this is about mapping of the default password policy. So if you see the default password policy, this default password policy is using a password generator. And on the previous slide, if you scroll down on the slide, right hand side, this is where you will see these under syntax that you will, it has a password generator and it has a password validator. So what is a password generator and password validator? Let's look at in the next lesson, which is what exactly is password validator. But before that, I hope you're clear in a very high level view about what exactly is password policy. We'll come back to this password policy after covering password generator and password validator. But make sure you understand so far you're clear with password policy. So just to do a quick recap on what exactly is password policy. So password policy is nothing but a set of rules that governs what, how complex or what all things you can store a user can have or must have in a password. It also stores password history or governs password history, the storage scheme, min max age, password lock, and who can or can't edit this password policy. OUD support multiple password policy and can be managed using either ODSM or DS config. Includes by default, the default password policy that we saw earlier and has two components, which is password generator and password validator. Well, so this video is one of the lessons from our Oracle Unified Directory Training, where we cover architecture, installation, configuration, users and groups, password policy, backup and recovery, and a lot more. It's an extensive nine module course, and everything is available on the portal immediately for you, including the step-by-step -step activity guide. So this is how the membership portal looks like. So when you register, you will get immediate access to the membership portal where you can start learning immediately, including the videos from me. So on the right hand side, you have a course navigation and you have all the modules. Within these modules, you have lessons and activity guide. So let me cover what all modules we have. The module one is about architecture and file system. Module two is about install and configure. Three is about directory structure and we go in detail in all these modules. Then four is about how to start and stop OUD, including Oracle Directory Service Manager. Then five is about consoles and we cover both OUD console. In past, it used to call as ODSM console and WebLogic and Enterprise Manager console. Six is about managing users, groups, and in within groups, static and dynamic or virtual nested groups. Then seven is about OUD schema, where we look at object classes and attributes. Then eight is about password policy. And this is one of the important topics. A lot of employers implement and it's good to know or employers look for this. Then nine is about backup and recovery. Now, apart from theory, we also have an extensive step-by-step -step activity guide and you get a dedicated machine to practice where you cover things like install and configure, start and stop, consoles where you log in and look at all the consoles. You also manage users, you create users both from a command line as well as from a graphical user interface. You manage groups, 
then you configure the password policies and all these activity guides will be available for you on the portal. Then you look at backup and recovery. Now you also get a lot of bonuses where you have unlimited free retake for next three years. And anytime we upgrade the course, you get this course absolutely free on the upgrade. Then you'll be part of my 1500 plus happy customers, lifetime access to the course on the membership portal. You'll be part of my mastermind group where it's a close group of identity and access management experts, including all the previous other students. And then you get a dedicated machine to practice. Now, these are some of the testimonials from our student. And we have a lot of such testimonials from the actual users like you who have gone through this program. So if you're just starting out into identity and access management or already working and wish to take your career to the next level by learning this Oracle's recommended LDAP server, that's Oracle Unified Directory and make it big in LDAP and identity and access management. I would love you to join my training program that's in k 20 academycom forward slash OUD. I look forward to see you in the program. Take care and bye-bye.